name's Natalie, welcome to Vintages. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this twirly curly swirly whirly beehive slash bouffant. It's really fun and fabulous, I think. Pin up tastic, I really hope you like it. Okay, I'm starting with hair that's been blow dried as smooth as possible and I'm taking hair from my crown to each ear. That's my first section that will create my victory roll and pin curls. The second section, you take a line horizontally from this, leaving around half of your hair down to put into your fake French roll, which you do like this. If you loop your hair up and over one finger, you can then twist it around and it will incorporate the ends into your French roll and you can then just pin the loop that has been created at the top. And this, gets all the frizzy ends out of the way. Now you can just leave it like this, but for this style we're going to be covering it in a filler. This is why it's a no tease um, style. You need to get volume somewhere. And I'm using a hair extension wrapped in a hairnet and you can see little me up in the top right hand corner there showing you how to do it. When you've made your filler, or you use a bun donut I guess if you want to, attach it to the back of your style, just over the top of the loop that you made for your French roll. If you can't do the French roll like I showed you, just twist your hair up and stick this over the ends that you will have. This is where you need to put it in relation to the roll. Now that middle section of hair, if you've got relatively thick hair, or even if you've got thin hair, split it into two with a uh, horizontal line. This is gonna enable you to not only cover the filler more thoroughly, but it will also give it a really nice look because the hair will be folded in different directions. It gives it a bit more depth to the hairstyle. Now this first section I'm taking towards the side of the filler and wrapping it around the bottom, not going directly backwards. The idea is to create a nice um, smooth covering on one side and a pretty pin curl on the other. I cannot make a pin curl all in one go because my hair is not long enough. If you have longer hair, you might be able to create just such a beautiful swirl right from the get-go. But if you have shorter shoulder length hair like mine, then you'll need to take it in stages. So wrap this section around your hair and attempt to form it into as much of a pin curl as you can get. The rest of the middle section you'll need to split into as many sections as necessary to cover and create your pin curl. I needed to split mine into two but um, if you've got really long hair you might be able to cover the um, filler and create the pin curl in one fell swoop. But if you've got shorter shoulder length hair like mine then you might need two or three goes to not only cover the filler but also create that nice pretty pin curl on the side. Just keep your hair smooth and spray each section before you lay it over the filler and spray when you've finished. You see this is what I ended up with. Can you see there's a few folds of hair and I think that really adds to the style. Certainly if you've got longer hair and you can do it in one fell swoop that will also look super beautiful. So just see what you can do really and I'm just going to accessorise with a baby blue um, vintage style nylon scarf tying it to a cute little bow on one side just like that <laughs> and now to the front section I'm doing um, a pin curl here I'm just walking my hair from the tip up to the base of my head and I'm going to pin this over the side of the scarf because I think that gives a nice contrast to my hair against the pale blue of the scarf it looks a bit different now I'm splitting my hair again um, from the arch of my eyebrow and creating a nice little side roll on the side of my head now this front section do whatever suits you you could do barrel rolls victory rolls um, front rolls front roll is head over heels isn't it don't do that while you're trying to do your hair that won't work at all but anything you like whatever suits your face shape and whatever's working on the day sometimes I find that I just can't do a victory roll for toffee um, and I have to opt for something else or my hair's just not playing ball but this is what I'm doing today again if you've got some tongs um at your disposable at your disposable blah, 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 at your disposal then use those because that will certainly help with your rolling there we go, that is done.
thanks so much for watching i really hope that you like the video and if you try the hairstyle please send me a picture to my facebook page i would love to see the evidence oh, i just love it when people send me pictures and don't forget to subscribe for regular updates click that thumbs up if you liked it don't click the thumbs down it makes me very sad <sighs> take care lots more soon bye if you like this video why don't you check out these other two recent videos in the top left hand corner you can see a pinup inspired vintage look side roll which i love and in the bottom middle there you can see a 60s inspired wrapped bouffant beehive style thing and don't forget to subscribe guys for regular updates and you can also catch me on instagram twitter and facebook thanks again for watching take care bye